With the recent news that our kids will not be returning to class this school year, homeschooling while trying to work from home has become the new norm for many of us parents. My wife and I try to get our high energy kid outside as much as possible during the day to try to burn off some of that energy. And what better way to celebrate National Garden Day than take advantage of some of that free labor by putting them to work in the yard. Thanks for joining us for West Seattle Daily episode number 58. 58 rather, brought to you by Seatown Real Estate. I'm your host, Christian Harris. Today is National Garden Day, so hopefully these weird plant tips and plant hacks will inspire you and your family to get out in the sunshine this week. So here's some crazy plant tricks. Put coffee filters in your potted plants. Sounds pretty weird, doesn't it? But putting the filters in the bottom of a plant, it helps make the transportation process a lot smoother. Once the plant outgrows its pot, it will need to be moved to something new, dirt and all. The filter keeps the entire plant in one piece, avoiding a huge mess and clean up later. Did you know you can grow a rose bush in a potato? Not as hard as you think. You can take the trimmings from other roses that you have cut and stick them into a potato. That's right, into a potato. Securing the trimmings in the potato makes it easier to plant it. Simply dig a small hole in the dirt, stick the potato in the hole and cover it back up. This avoids the need to buy a rose plant and Instead of buying mineral rich soil that is definitely overpriced, you can just as easily make your own. You can take the eggshells from eggs that have been used and put them in the blender. Blend them into a powder, which you can then take and sprinkle into your soil. From that, you've just created soil filled with calcium. With most of you living in Seattle, you've already started composting, but you can actually use this compost yourself in your garden instead of sending it off to yard waste people. So instead of taking your food waste and putting it in the compost bin, put it into a paper bag and then bury them in your garden near your plants. This makes the plants healthier, relieves you of more waste and helps the environment. Would you like to create your own mini greenhouses? Just use plastic bins. For smaller potted plants, you can actually put them inside the bin and close the lid. For larger plants, you can just flip it upside down and cover it to keep the heat and moisture in. Too many weeds? Vinegar to the rescue. Gardening cannot be done without finding weeds along the way. An easy fix to the weed problem is pouring vinegar on them. Vinegar is a great solution to the problem because it kills the weeds without destroying the environment. An eco-friendly weed killer. Just make sure you don't get any on your plant. Want to keep animals away from your garden? All you need is a box of plastic forks. So take the plastic forks and put them into the soil with the tips pointing out of the ground. This keeps the animals away from the plants. Apparently they see the forks and get scared. It has the same effect as a scarecrow might for birds. If you have fungus issues, you can keep fungus away with cinnamon. Oftentimes gardeners like to move plants from one place to another. If you're replanting something, you do not want fungus to start growing in place of the actual plant. It will ruin your garden. To avoid it altogether, use cinnamon. Before you plant what you want, dip the root into the cinnamon. It will help keep fungus from invading your garden and keeps the plant healthier. Hopefully at least one of these weird gardening tips is helpful to you. Enjoy the sunshine this week and let me know if you use one of them and if it ends up working. We'll catch you tomorrow.